Well, guys, I bought this off of eBay from another lock sporter who said it's a brand new post office box. And it does say USPS right here. I don't know if you can make that out so small. And then an L, and it looks like 11,720. Maybe that's a C. So, uh, yeah. 1172. That's probably how many dollars they had to pay to get this thing. Knowing how our government overpays for stuff. Anyway, um, here's what the key looks like. It's This is a what they call a Compex. And it actually says it on the lock. But it's so small, it probably won't be visible through the camera. But Compex, and I don't know if it's National Lock Company or National Keys. Here's what it looks like. So not bad bidding. It's got a little cut out there because it's kind of a compressed lock. I guess that's to make room for it and also to make a point there so it pushes through that shutter just a little easier to move it up out of the way. Uh, it does work perfectly, rotates 90, and it, the core does not come out even though there's no circlip on the back. And I had to wonder why, so I got to look in very closely, and again, it probably won't show up through the camera, but right in here somewhere you can just make out the lip of the pin that they drove in here to retain that before they chromed the body of this lock. So if we want to take it apart, provided I can get it picked, of course, we're going to have to pull that top cover off. But that's okay, I got extras, so I can repair it easily. So, let's try it. Get that clamp down real good. Let me just double check and make sure that I didn't... I got that really tight. I don't want to compress that core. So, no, not even restricted. So, beautiful. Beauteous. All right. Um i got to get that shutter out of the way. So I'm going to try this guy. See if you'll, let me push that shutter out of the way with a probe. And then we, maybe I can position this in there like, like that. Oh, that doesn't seem very sturdy. How about like that? Nice and wedged in there. All right, um, I can use any pick I want because when I look in the keyway, I don't really see anything in the way other than those free oh yeah there's some junk on the bottom that might be why the tip is cut away to, to to get away from that stuff it's near the back so i shouldn't have to worry too much i'm going to try this guy it's a medium hook and there's plenty of room Twenty-five thousand. i'm basically going to try to bully it so let's see what we got here pin four is, the only, is a binder it's a little click pin three is a binder a little click All right, where are you? I know there's got to be one more. There it is, two, little click. No fault set, no nothing. Get on there. Nothing. All right, I've only got one binder, pin two, so I'm going to take a little pressure off the tensioner. Yeah, I just might have overset that guy. Might be more than I needed to do. One pin five, he's back down. That was pin four. Pin five, and there we go. All right, not too bad. I did not detect any security pins at all, and I really kind of wouldn't expect it. A lot of you guys are quick to point out many times post office boxes under, under a lot of surveillance. They got cameras and so forth. So I don't think they have to be super high security. And I don't think this one is five pinner. But just for the heck of it, just because, you know, this is not on the installment plan. So I can afford to pry that off of there. And let's take a look at it and see what we got inside. Let's see if that probe will fit in there and pry that off. No. Nope. All right, let's try a screwdriver. All I need is you to slide a little bit. And I'd really hate to do it like that because it puts my fingers at risk, but it's not my only chance, my only choice here. See, that would have been my finger. Man, that's tough. All right, we need the probe so I can focus my energy right there. Maybe that's why these are so expensive. I mean, $1,100 because these things are like made out of alien technology, something that came off of one of those ships. That dude is not coming off there. 
I hate to pull a knife out, but I may have to do it. And that thing is really, really on there. All right, let me uh, figure something else out here off camera. That way if I come back missing a thumb, I won't capture it on video. Let me see if I can get the top of that darn thing off. All right, that worked out. All the springs shot out of there. I, I managed to, one of them ricocheted off of my forehead. Tiny, tiny little springs. And it also looks like these pins are like super small diameter, smaller even than you'd find in a master lock or inside of a, an American, probably three quarter scale. Anyway, I'm gonna start dumping from the very back. It is a six pinner, as you can see, I did not, I don't think it is a six pinner. I think, well, we'll find out. Yeah, I'm gonna roll it back. That last one might be the retention pin. I really can't tell. Yeah, that last one allows the core to stay in. So let's do it that way. Let's see if I can get this guy to work. Get in there. Oh, okay, that was from chamber one. Just so we can rotate this and see if the core now comes out. It does. Cool. But you know what? I don't have a... Why am I wasting my time? I don't have a follower that tiny. Let's stick with the plan. Ah! <laughs> what little plan there was. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why do I bother gutting stuff? <laughs> All right. That's all super tiny. Ah, crap. Just, just pull it out of there. All right. It is a five pinner. As I, that's what I felt. The sixth pin in the very back is what held the core in. Uh, nothing weird about the body. And all these pins are all standards, but they are just absolutely tiny. I'm, I will get it back together. It may take some effort finding all those little springs across the bench, but that's the kind of junk we're looking at here. 30 bucks, but you got what you got. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Appreciate your patience and your sense of humor. Stay safe. Stay legal. Oh, man. What a mess. <laughs>